Hello everyone, welcome back to Restoring Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters. This is part two of the controversial I issue of child support um, in the African American community. So, hey, I'm, I'm coming back. I won't be long because I'm out on the road again. That's why you're always catching me in my car or at the gym or something like that. I'm kind of trying to give you guys content and still live my everyday life. So that's what's happening uh, with me. Okay. Now, I went over in part one, I went over the, a lot of issues uh, with the child support issue with uh, pertaining to men and women. Uh, mostly I was like on the um, female side, um, but now I wanna address it from the male side, the male perspective, possibly if I can. Uh, and uh, so we're gonna go over to that side. And let's be real because my, my uh, videos are very transparent and very open and I'm a real person. I, I try to make sure I put the real out there. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. So don't come on my video or comment with any negativity. Just if, if it's not for you, pass it on by or dislike it, whatever you wanna do. But I don't tolerate disrespect, so don't do that. I'm coming from um, ladies. We have to admit, now I know women that's done that. I've never, I, that's dumbest that's done some of the things that i'm going to put out there right now i haven't but i know some that have one being child support you file child support on your child's father or on your husband and he's still in the home that's wrong there's no way to write that if you feel like he's not doing enough then he should not be in he should not still be in your home that's wrong to file child support on the father when he's still in the home with you that's number one Number two is when you have a court ordered child support, you know, you have child support court ordered by the courts and the custodial parent is the mother. And so the father's not in the home and he has to pay the mother um, child support. Now this should change once he gets full custody of the child. And I don't mean by actually, because a lot of times we don't like going to court. We don't like dealing with the, with the laws or whatever you want to call it, legal system. We don't like dealing with them. So say for instance, for whatever reason, by default, the father ended up taking the children or the child. So now he has the, the full custody because he has them, not legally per se, because they haven't went back to court, but he, he took them for their protection or whatever the case may be. He has the children. Now he's doing the 100% support now, mind you, the child support order is still in effect for when she had them. Now, ladies, we're wrong as hell if we keep collecting child support when we don't have our children. This is why so many people hate court-ordered child support because there are some lapses in the system and it, it doesn't favor the non-custodial parent. Uh, so that's why I wanted to mention that, ladies, if that happens, we need the woman up, put our big girl panties on, go to the a, the attorney general's office and let them know, hey, we need to uh, stop child support because he has them and he's doing everything. So I don't need to get the child support anymore. That's number two. These things happen every day, every day. Now I know I, I, I got on the men in the first part and I, I was making fun of the hundred, the little hundred dollars that they send every once in a while or the $200 they send every once in a while. Uh, but I wanna tell the ladies, we, we need to hold ourselves accountable as well. We need to make sure we're right about this thing. And that's two major points. <clears throat> uh, an example, a real life example. I have a relative in my family right now today uh, that the child's uh, mother opened up an old child support case. Now this child is dead, he's deceased. He's been deceased for over uh, 20 years. This woman went to the attorney general's office and opened up a case on her dead deceased child to collect. How desperate, I mean, how horrible. Not only are you making the father deal with the fact that he lost his child, but you're actually gonna open up a case to, for back child support or whatever the case may be so he can pay on a child that's no longer there. I mean, what's this, what is that really about? This child had been deceased for 20 years, so it's not like you were out of so much money because he passed away so early. 
So that's another one. That's number three. I mean, there's different circumstances, ladies, that we are just vindictive and spiteful and it's not right and it's hurting our children. We need to grow up so that we can handle things effectively and efficiently and have healthy whole children turn into healthy whole adults. We can't do that when we're always trying to get the next guy, when we're always trying to make the other parent pay and suffer. That's That energy is negative and no, ain't nothing good gonna come out of it, nothing. There's another scenario that I wanna bring up in child support issues. Um, when there may not be a child support order, some women will not go file child support on that father vindictively, and I will say vindictively, because she doesn't want him to see his child. So if she doesn't go file child support, there's no uh, visitation rights or no order custodial rights or anything established for that child, and she knows that. So she's gonna say, well, I'm not filing child support because I'm not gonna let him see his child. Nah, 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 nah. That's the only power that uh, that mother possesses. So she's gonna use that against him to hurt him by not letting him see his children. And and if there's no enforced child support, you know, then what, what is he gonna do? He's gonna have to take her to court and gain uh, some type of custodial rights for his child. Or he can go file on himself so that he can show record of that he's paying or whatever or that he and just so that he fathers you guys have rights stop letting these angry unforgiving women dictate how you deal with your children if you love your child and she's doing some mess like that then you take it upon yourself and you go to court i know like i said again i'll say it again we don't like court but guess who's paying when you're not around your child we're robbing our children of their very identity because they have an absentee parent and they don't know why. They're just believing the mother's story. But if the mother is bitter and she's kind of thrown off in the head, I mean, let's be real. Some of us are. Then she's hearing a one-sided, then, then the child or the children are hearing a one-sided story. So then they grow up with abandonment issues because my father didn't want me. He didn't want anything to do with me. That creates a whole nother plethora of issues for that child that's gonna have to go through life stumbling, not understanding why they can't really connect to people because they have these issues, these unresolved issues that came from childhood. This is major. Now I'm gonna get off here cause I need to get going. I got a lot on my plate, but I wanted to finish part two of this these issues because we need to deal with them, you guys. We need to deal with them. They are hurting and affecting our children. So uh, comment below click um you know the subscribe button and share it so that i can get it out and have a broader audience so that uh because these tough issues need to be talked about they need to be dealt with we need to tackle these issues so that we can get better and have a a, a better community and so that we can be a community with each other and help each other out and, and stop suffering in silence guys a lot of us suffer in silence let's stop doing that let's take it upon ourselves to help single parents out there that you see that's busting their tail. I ain't talking about the sorry ones that just want to sit on their behind and say, woe is me. And they don't do anything for themselves or their children. I'm not, I'm talking about the ones that get out there every day and hustle and grind to support their children. And you see them slipping and they need a little help and you can help them, help them. That's what community is about, you guys. We got to get better at that. Other people, they figured it out. That's why they're doing a lot better economically as a whole because i know there's some people out there that got it going on financially and they can't relate but we are a whole our community is a whole you could be doing good but if your sister down the street is not we're all not doing well so let's build more of a community that's love each other more let's get involved with these children that don't have fathers because there are some men that just will not participate okay can somebody step in we need to do better, you guys. I'm going to let you go. And um, I appreciate you all for, for uh, signing in and looking at this video. Remember to click and subscribe and share this video of part two and part one. I appreciate you all. Love you guys. Bye-bye.